Denver Complex manages several key rivers across the region. These include the Cut-Off Channel, running from Larkhead Sluice at Barton Mills to the Impounding Sluice, and the rivers flowing into the Ten Mile River, which stretches from the A10 Littleport Road Bridge to Denver Sluice and the AG Wright Sluices. The New Bedford Tidal River flows from Browns Hill Sluice to the Wash in the North Sea, while the Relief Channel runs between the AG Wright Sluice and the Tail Sluice. Finally, the River Delft starts at Erith Sluice and flows out through Wellmore Lake Sluice via gravity or with the help of pumps. Each of these rivers plays a vital role in the water management systems within the Denver complex. Denver Sluice has been a crucial part of water management in the Fens for hundreds of years, protecting communities and farmland from flooding. A sluice has existed here since the 17th century, except for a gap between 1713, when it was destroyed by tides, and 1750, when it was rebuilt. Today, it is one of the largest water management systems in the UK, second only to the Thames Barrier. It manages over 500 kilometres of river water, helping to prevent flooding and maintain the drainage of Grade 1 agricultural land. Weather patterns and tidal ranges have a big impact on its operations, and skilled Environment Agency staff manage the site 24-7 to meet these challenges. Environment Agency staff manage the site daily, responding to changing river flows and tidal cycles. Denver's role goes beyond flood prevention. It also helps move water to areas in need during dry weather or drought. This ensures that communities, infrastructure, wildlife and the wider environment are protected. The Denver complex is vital to the Ely Ooze to Essex and Suffolk water transfer scheme. When water levels allow, we use a combination of the impounding sluice and diversion sluice to transfer water to reservoirs like Hanningfield and Aberton, supplying thousands of homes and businesses in Essex and Suffolk. The Denver AG Wright structure, also known as Denver Head Sluice, allows water from the South Level River systems to flow into the relief channel. The relief channel is 17 kilometres long and connects to the tidal river via the tail sluice at Kings Lynn. The AG Wright sluices are used when the ooze washes are discharging or when the tidal river doesn't allow flows through the Denver sluices, also called the Denver Little Eyes. The Denver sluices discharge water from the South Level River systems, including the Ely Ooze and Ten Mile River, into the tidal Great Ooze, which flows out past Kings Lynn into the North Sea. When tidal river levels are high, the sluices can become tide-locked, meaning other assets in the Denver complex must be used to reduce high flow impacts upstream. The three sets of V doors close as the tide level rises, preventing high tides from flowing back into the Ten Mile River. The John Martin Sluice, also known as Wellmore Lake Sluice, which sits outside the Denver complex, allows water to flow naturally from the ooze washes into the tidal river. When the sluice is tide locked, Assets like two land drainage pumps and three transfer pumps are used to move water, depending on the levels. The V doors also stop tidal water from entering the ooze washes. The tail sluice consists of seven sluice gates that discharge water from the relief channel into the tidal river. These gates can also be put into flood mode, allowing a longer window for discharge. This helps to store more flood water in the relief channel and cut-off channel when tides are not favourable and the south level system is rising. <music>